Traders, uh, Todd here. Just want to do a quick uh, look at what I'm sending uh, CNBC for today's um, Fast Money appearance. So I'm just going to kind of take you through the narrative and just show you what I'm looking at here. Uh, some of this will be familiar. Um, some of it won't. But here's what we're looking at. Um, so if you look at the NASDAQ, the NDX on the weekly, um, you'll see that this is the, the famous three-wave move that I've been talking about almost every single video. And uh, if you take the difference of 388 up to 474, set back there in the B wave, uh, and then move back up to 4905, you'll see that this is a 17% rally. You take 685 and divide it by 388, and then you take uh, another you know, 725 point rally um, divided by 4179 gives you 17%. So you have a pair of 17% rallies and that measured move target is 4865. And that's been the defining level for the past one. So today, this week, last week, the week before and the week before that. So the past four weeks. So we're starting to really respect that measured move target. And that's certainly something uh, that we need to be concerned about. And that's why we're probing the short side. You look at the structure of this week so far. Okay. What do you notice of this week's bar? It's only Wednesday as we record this. We're halfway through the week. Okay. Um, at lunch, we're exactly halfway through the week here. So what do you notice compared to the last couple bars? Well, so far this week, and I'll put this just off to the side. I'll tell you what, let me just push that over and I'll pull this. So this is a weekly chart, but I've really zoomed in on the last uh, four weeks. And you'll notice that the week of October 9th, which is right now, so far has consumed the week of October 2nd, which was a nothing sideways week here in the NASDAQ. It's also consumed the week of September 25th um, and provided we close this week. Um, well, actually, you know what? That's not true because we've already made an outside week compared to this guy. It's September 25th. If we were to be able to c close below 4811, um, that, you know, the, the, the high of this week would encompass this guy, obviously, because there's no body of this candle and this guy. And then if we were to be able to close uh, below this low, 4811, that would be a, a, a very serious double outside reversal. Now, if we were also able to close below 4786, which is only another, call it, what, 40 points, 15 and 24, 34, 40 points lower in the NDX, we could also clip the September 18th um, weekly bar. So we would have a, a single, double, triple outside reversal week um, if we can close below these levels. And remember, that's all in the context of this a equals C measured move on a pair of 17% rallies. From there, they wanted me to look at Apple. And if you look at Apple over um, the NASDAQ, the underperformance just continues. Though Apple has rallied relative to the 2015 highs, Apple is well off those highs where the NASDAQ has exceeded those highs. So the largest stock in the, in the, uh, in the NASDAQ has not confirmed this move to 2016 highs. Final chart. As we zoom in on the specifics of, oops, the specifics of Apple, um, we have on the weekly log scale chart, we have a fib retracement from the highs down to the lows. And you can see that um, we held the 618 retracement for a couple of weeks here, uh, but we've just now broken through. And then you're facing the 786 retracement just above us at 123.29, which also corresponds to this old high. This is going to be a major, major resistance level in Apple. And you guys know we've been counting a five-wave move, so it would be one, two, and then I believe this is all of three. We're either going to have a wave three move here, or that was three. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, and then sell off. Or it's going to be one, two, three three, then we sell off in four. The, the, the way four sell off won't be as deep. Either way, I, we can really expect resistance into the 123 mark in Apple. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And uh, that's what I'm going on air with tonight. And uh, that's pretty much the way we've been focused on this. So I just want to share that with you guys.